change your thinking. Thank you, because I wrote thing. Change your thinking, change your world. She'll be speaking to, uh, out of the manual, speaking to inform. We project number three, the demonstration talk, and she will need six to eight. At this time, I would like to welcome her to speak with Harley. Chaos that strives to remain a part of you. 
let the negative go as easily as you bring the positive in. There is not a single reason to hold on to pain, although there are countless reasons to have it. Holding it will only dim your light and turn your beautiful soul bitter. Acknowledge it, give it proper attention, and release it with concentrated grace. Pain does not define you. However, it will always hold you back. Taking in the beauty will continue to make your spirit strong. The very simple act of breathing, concentrated breathing, that can heal a body, a mind, and a spirit. So breathe in and breathe out and release. That's just one of my Christiasms. And if you ever get to come to my home and sit in my chat area, this is things that we discuss. Very positive, uplifting, loving things. Another thing I like to do is surround myself with good, positive things that's going to help me and others around me. My family is very important to me. I want their health. I want their health to be as healthy as they can be. I want each of them to start their morning charged and ready. I want them to have their flaxseed. I want them to have all of those nutrients that starts their day well. And we've done different talks in here about how to do that health thing. I completely recommend juicing. If not juicing, pay attention to what you're eating. How processed is it? Is it natural? Is it organic? Are you getting enough water? Thousand and one little ways to save our planet. When you can do something good for another, just out of the kindness of you, it fills your cup. It makes you a little more grateful when you see something happen for another. And the earth, I believe very strongly, needs some care right now. And if each and every one of us in this room just did our part, maybe to recycle, we're doing, we're making a difference. Wonderful ways to love a child. These books that I'm showing you are inspirational. The wonderful ways to love a child. My gosh, if you can start nurturing a child, the way there are so many wonderful, wonderful authors out there. This one here, it spoke to me in a way that I feel like I should have written this book. Um, thank children for the little things. Oh my gosh. How often do children get thanked? How often do they get shown how to do something right instead of just saying, no, don't do that. Let's show them the correct way. And it fills your cup, makes you feel good to know you inspired a child. How about the Don't Sweat the Small Stuff? These books are fantastic. If you've never picked one up, I urge you to. They're short little stories about ways that you can improve your life or look at things a little differently with a little less stress. The power of I am. The, the fact that I'm showing you all of these books, these are things that I surround myself with. I don't surround myself with a lot of negative, chaotic energy like I used to. I found by eliminating a lot of the needless information I have become a stronger person and much more grateful and happy in my life. And this is the book here that changed my life, The Secret. If you have not heard of this, there is a movie, there is the book, and let me tell you something. There is a part, there's a, a saying in here, the placebo effect. The placebo, placebo is your thinking, right, when you think. The placebo effect is an example of the law of attraction in action. When a patient truly believes the tablet is a cure, he receives what he believes is cured. It's all in your power of thought and what you put out into the universe. When you are filling yourself with positive, loving things, it's going to come back to you tenfold. The last thing I'd like to share
share with you is my personal dream board. And I feel like everybody should have one. A dream board is something that you want to call into your life. A dream board is something that makes you happy. And you got to be careful about what you put on here. Because if I were to put a picture of a Labrador somewhere that's sitting on a porch swing and I wanted the porch swing, I'd probably end up with a Labrador too. The interesting thing about this though, I couldn't stop once I started. There's so many dreams I have. There's so many things I want to do. There's so many people that deserve my love and attention and that I deserve back from them. I urge all of you to go home tonight, look through some magazines, maybe some books, and find some inspiration. Dream boards help you define your purpose. Dream boards help you see things that you might not have known about yourself. As I was cutting things out, I'm, there's a part on here with uh, Oprah and Tony Robbins. And, my husband joked about that and says, what, you want Tony Robbins now? Tony Robbins inspires me. He's one of the first people I ever listened to one of his programs completely. Oprah, I love her network. I watch it every Sunday. It fills my cup. Super Soul Sunday, spiritual leaders come on and they talk about the most insightful things. So when you ask yourself, what is my purpose? Why am I here? Go deep within. Journal, read some books, do a dream board. This is your life, and it's exactly what you think it is. If you think it's miserable, if you think it's sad, if you think it's depressed, it is. If you think you have a life that is full and rich and loving, it is. 